Hey guys, uh, this is Religious Abuse here, um, another, <laughs> another all-important social cause that needs to be addressed. Um, everyone should start boycotting YouTube. Um, now this has been going on for a long fucking time. Um, but, uh, the thing that's totally fucked up here with YouTube, uh, and I, I should have said this a long time ago, they allow jackasses, like Dennis Prager, the homophobic douche, they allow Steven Crowder, they allow uh, Paul Joseph Watson. They've allowed Alex Jones for the longest amount of time. Um, they've allowed, you know, Fox News. Uh, they've allowed you know, literal alt-right Nazis to spread Nazi propaganda on their website for what is and what seems like, you know, forever. Since, since at least the 20, beginning of 2010s. And, and, and granted, YouTube's only been around since 2005. This platform has only been around since 2005, and it only took five years for it to develop into a cesspool of Nazi propaganda and far-right extremism and racism and, and sexism. And so, what does YouTube do? In response to this, starting early 2010s, they start banning and demonetizing LGBT channels. Meanwhile, there are uh, the Golden One, uh, Paul Joseph Watson, Alex Jones, uh, Stephen Crowder, Dennis Prager, Sean Hannity... Laura Ingram, uh, what else? Uh, oh yeah, um, I, I think Rush Limbaugh has a YouTube channel now. Um, not to mention, uh, every incel has a YouTube channel that they fucking stick on and, like... The anti-feminist craze on YouTube, too. Um, granted, I, I love YouTube. I, I love having a place to speak my mind. But at the same time, I hate this fucking website, and I hate Google. They're an evil fucking company. Or Alphabet. Um, or whatever the fuck. They want to be advertiser-friendly. Yet they allow people like... Again, Dennis Prager. Yeah, fucking uh, David Duke. Fucking every anti-feminist ever. Uh, you know, fucking Alex Jones. Like, the list is long. The list... Of fucking Nazi parasites that, or far right extremists that YouTube accepts with open arms, YouTube and their parent company, Google, or whatever the fuck Google's parent company is. Google is fucking evil. Not to mention, there's been a consorted effort to censor progressive voice, voices online and LGBT people, and feminist, 
and uh, anti-establishment voices. Anyone who might be a threat to the status quo is getting censored. Meanwhile, meanwhile, they're allowing fucking Paul Joseph Watson to go on his fucking morbidly disgusting fucking rants. Um, they're allowing people like the EDL, the English Defense League, which is a hate group, to go on. Uh, meanwhile, every other video on Antifa is a negative video. You know, um, they allow the algorithm, the YouTube fucking algorithm, to fucking bash on Antifa's far-left loons. They're the only ones standing up to this fucking far wave of fascism. This wave of fucking totalitarianism that came, you know, started to come and culminated in 2016 with Trump getting elected and is now still going on uh, with, with all the fucking fascist going on, fascism uh, being out there on YouTube, being allowed to spread their vulgar, vulgar horseshit. Being allowed to fucking, um, speak their mind while, meanwhile, the progressive voices are getting removed. Um, meanwhile, LGBT people are getting their livelihoods ruined and taken off YouTube. Um, and being censored and silenced because of their sex sexuality. Now, I'm bi. I've been open about that. And if Google wants to take down my fucking channel because I'm bi and because I fucking speak truth to power, Google can fucking, and YouTube, can come at me all guns blazing. Because I will not be quiet and I will not shut the fuck up. And I will not allow Google or YouTube to censor me, while well, neo-Nazis, literal neo-Nazis, are allowed on their platform, are allowed to spread their hate and, and, and uh, misinformation and propaganda, which gets people killed. This is, um, non-compete did a video on this, uh, and I will probably link it down in the description about how these far-right propaganda machines like Paul Joseph Watson, David Duke, fucking Dennis Prager, Alex Jones, Sean Hannity, Rush Limbaugh. This gets people killed. Lives are on the line. Being homophobic, being anti-LGBT is a matter of life and death. This hate speech, this virulent hate speech, and it's not just against the LGBT, you know, there's also documented cases of, 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 of African Americans talking about fucking racism in the YouTube community or something like that. And their videos get taken down. You know what, I want to know why? Because they don't want people to ad be advocating for themselves. There's Black Lives Matter videos getting taken down. People talking about Black Lives Matter getting taken down. Meanwhile, David Duke, Paul Joseph Watson, you know, you know the list. I've listed before. They're allowed to just say, we hate people because we hate people and we're the chosen white people. And... Uh, they're allowed to say they're racist Nazi garbage. And, um, if an African American speaks up against it, um, their videos go down, get demonetized, think people are sp spreading racism. That's white privilege in the YouTube algorithm. That's white privilege on the YouTube community. This is something that people need to talk about. White, straight, privilege, and, and it, it pisses me off like this.
that the voices of hate are allowed to dominate this platform. That they're allowed to dominate YouTube. That every other video on Antifa is, well, look at these far-left thugs. Meanwhile, people are not sing, uh, fucking marching in Charlottesville, Virginia in, in 2017 with tiki torches and literal swastika flags saying Jews will not replace us and Antifa is the bad guy. We've got people calling for literal genocide and unfortunately it's Antifa that are the bad guys here. And then the president mirrors this shit by saying there are very fine people on both sides. No! If you're marching with a tiki torch chanting Jews will not replace us, fucking with a swastika armband, you are not a good person. You're a piece of shit that deserves to get beat in. But again, everything's framed like this is 50-50. Antifa and, and, the, and the fucking swastika fucking flag-waving neo-Nazis saying Jews will not replace us. Yeah, they're, they're the same thing. They're exactly the same thing. There's no difference between the two. The white nationalist David Duke... Uh, the, the fucking neo-Nazi Paul Joseph Watson and Richard Spencer. And then the, the, the people speaking out on behalf of Black Lives Matter and the LGBT people on feminist issues. They're, they're exactly the same. Like, there's no difference there. You know, the people fighting through their fucking lives not to be wrapped up in a genocide. Not to be killed by these racist, spreading virulent hate speech that gets people killed. They're, they're the same things. Uh, there's a quote by ContraPoints that I'd, I'd like to address. Um, both sides are fighting to survive. Now, if, hold on, before I get into it, I'm going to butcher this. So, if I if I do, Contra, I, I mean no disrespect to you at all. Um, and I, I, you know, don't mean to disrespect you. you. You do good videos, you do good work for, you know, social justice causes. I'm sorry. Anyways... To the quote, both sides, both the LGBT and, and the social justice, you know, fighters and the neo-Nazis, they're both fighting to survive. The difference is that the, the social justice fighters are fighting to survive the hate speech advocates, the, the, the neo-Nazi douchebags are fighting to be the only survivors. Um, now, what she means by this, and when she explains it, is, um, I, and I don't mean to be disrespectful to her, she's an amazing uh, trans woman, and you should all go watch her channel. Um, is that capitalism makes us all fight to survive. And, and... What the hate speech guys are are doing is they think they should be given special privilege, that they should be treated better than everyone else. Whereas the 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 social justice advocates like myself, the LGBT, the uh, Black Lives Matter, the feminist causes, all those guys. They're just trying to survive in a system that constantly puts them down, constantly censors them, constantly beats them down, constantly disadvantages them. And, and meanwhile, these, these neo-Nazis that don't get their channels pulled, that, that, that um, 
are allowed to spread their hate speech and their filth and their garbage on any platform that they want because they've got that privilege. Um, they are not. Uh, they, you know, their their hate speech gets people killed. Uh, there's been so many documented accounts of, you know, like, here's an old one. When jo George Tiller was killed, he was an, uh, an abortion doctor performing late-term abortions, upholding women's rights. A really stand-up guy. Bill O'Reilly, on his Fox News show... And this was a little bit before YouTube, I think. Was kept on repeating and hammering down the George Tiller, Dr. George Tiller, the baby killer. Dr. George Tiller, the baby killer. It was every night on his show. So, exactly how was it shocking when... Uh, Christian far-right evangelical douchebag took up a gun and shot George Tiller. These people are terrorists. By definition, their speech is hate speech. They should be censored and flagged for promoting terrorism and hate speech and hate crimes. But they're not. Instead, what YouTube and Google decides to do they decide, they decide to go after the progressives, the ones speaking truth to power, the ones advocating for a more fair and egalitarian society, the progressives. The people like me, the people like Afro-Syndicalists, the Black Lives Matter crew. Also, I will be doing a video with him sooner or later. I just don't know when. Um... So yeah, I'm pissed off, and I I think progressives should boycott this this uh, fucking website. But the, the the problem is that they have such a monopoly on the the social forms and the social format in which issues are discussed. They are the uh, arbiters of truth and reality in in this digital age Google and YouTube have a full-on monopoly on what speech is allowed to be put out there and what speech isn't and unfortunately for the progressive progressives and the ones speaking truth to power they choose to go after us and, and the LGBT community, and the Black Lives Matter folks. Meanwhile, the far-right neo-Nazis get a free pass to do whatever shitty garbage they want to do and promote their hate speech and terrorism. And I'm pissed. This has been religious abuse.